100% Chelsea. Hello everyone, welcome to your match preview in association with Bet Victor, of course. I'm here with Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing good. Looking forward to the game. Top of the league, enjoying life. Top of the league and uh, you guys right down near the bottom and um, it's kind of fun. To see you guys down there at the bottom. I, I'm still in um, disbelief to see where Chelsea are this season. I so still, are we. I still can't believe it, to be honest, yeah. but it's good. <laughs> I'm hating life right now. No, um, well, in, in terms of Sunday, um, you guys obviously flying. Oh, well, you know, Peter Cech helping you out, isn't he? Um, you're up there with Leicester. We're down there. How are you approaching this game? Obviously, are you... Uh, are you guys going to approach this game in the sense of, yeah, we need to go out and score as much as we can? Or are you going to be a bit cautious and say, you know what, Chelsea might be where they are, but we have to be careful of them? I think um, we've got to approach it two ways. Um, we've, we've just come off of the back of two draws. So even though they, I think they were good points because it was Liverpool away and Stoke away back to back just after Christmas, the really difficult games, games where like Stoke, traditionally we do badly. Um, I think we did all right, but we could really do it a win now. Um, and, you know, this run of games in January, you know, even when I looked at it at the start of the season, I was like, oh my God, Liverpool away, Stoke yeah. away, Chelsea at home. And I was looking at it and I was at the start of the season, I'm thinking, wow. Now, when you look at it, those two, the previous two, look like the more difficult games. And like Chelsea, to the way you guys have been playing, look like the easier game because we've got you at home. But listen, I don't think uh, Arsene Wenger, I don't think the players will be under no illusions that... Even though Chelsea are right down there, we've got a bad record against Chelsea. And also, they've got quality players. Even though they haven't been performing this season, Hazard, Costa, Oscar, John Terry, these guys, they turn up on any given day yeah. and you're not on it, you lose the game. So I think the players are going to have to be concentrated. I don't think we're going to look on it and think oh, we're playing uh, a relegation team, even though that's kind of the situation where you're near the bottom. I think we're going to look on it, and if I was the manager, I'd be looking at it and say, right, we're playing real Chelsea. We still need to approach it in the same way. But it's a fantastic chance. I mean, you're in a bit of turmoil. No Mourinho as well. Mourinho sort of had the sign over, over Arsene Wenger. And I think it's just a fantastic opportunity to get three points. And it, for us as well, I think if we used to get a big win, a bit like when we played Man United earlier on in the season, we kind of smashed them at home. That is something that could really give us a real spurt, you know, to, to say, you know, hey, hold on, you know what, we can actually win this title this year. Yeah. Mm. And obviously, key players, your your men, Sanchez <laughs> and Ozil, are back. And bad, check. bad news for us. Well, checks just, <laughs> checks just there, really, isn't it? We, we would know. We gave them to you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. And I, I, I don't know if you saw the video, but I, I have been actually thanking Chelsea fans for giving us picture. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. I mean, listen. It's not from the heart. You know, that, that <laughs> I think, was the start of your problems. Giving us Petr Cech yeah, yeah. was the start of Chelsea going like that because you've given us a world-class keeper. He's been exceptional. I remember John Terry saying that um, he could save us 15 points. I think he's spot on there. He guy yeah. is... We've had terrible goalkeepers over the years, and now he's come in and he's solved that problem. And then, as you said, we've had loads of problems with injuries this season. And the team's actually done pretty well because the, I, yeah, I think this season's probably been worse than other seasons because it's been key players. Jack Wilshire, Welbeck, um, Sanchez has been out, Santi Cazola's out, Coquelin's out. All the, all the spine, all the main players we miss him. But what's happened this season is that the guys that have come in have really stepped up. Guys like Joel Campbell, they, I mean, they, they've stepped up big time and we haven't missed them as badly as I thought we were going to miss them and we're still near the top and I, and, I, and I just think that now this weekend with a couple of those guys, Urza was rested last week, he had a slight injury so he's back and Alexis coming back on, there's a strong chance that he'll play maybe coming off the bench it's a, it's, it's a good feel good factor kind of coming back at the right time for Arsenal and if we could get that win that would be huge for our confidence going into this um, title running. So I think for us, it's, it's an absolutely massive game. Definitely. And from Chelsea's perspective, Costa is obviously injured. Doesn't look <laughs> like he's going to feature. Gonna he's 50-50. He's, he's mm. obviously got um, his shin that's bruised. So it's, it's the bone itself. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to uh, make well, it. Listen, no, that is, you know, even though we're sort of standing there and laughing, that's a 
a bruised shin. I've had that before, and that's a very painful, um, very painful thing. Even though you wear shin pads, you you'd still be. Yeah. So I, I, it might be a good idea if he don't play anyway, because I could, I could honestly see him getting sent off in this game because the way I've seen him been getting wound up recently and I'll tell you what the crowd will be on him because I think everybody remembers that first game at Stamford Bridge yeah. where you got away with one that day he should have been sent off um, instead the referee Mike Dean uh, a Chelsea employee sent off uh, Gabriel you know okay. <laughs> I, I still couldn't get I, even to this day I can't understand what the referee was thinking that day and Costa his antics that day and I remember after that game, there was a lot of pundits bigging him up. Oh, yeah, it's the sort of guy we want in our team. You always want. And I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want players like that. Because I was like, he's losing his head. Because if the referee had been doing his job, he would have been sent off and he could have cost you the game. So I think everybody remembers that. And if he does play Costa, he will be getting... I mean, the only person, people that I can think that will get a more hostile reception than him, or it'd be on par, was like when Robin Van Persie came back. Or... Sammy Nasri, guys like that, or Adi Bayor, he will get the mother of all hostile receptions at the Emirates. But if he's not playing, that might be better for you guys because I, I could honestly see him getting. You sick. think? No, I, I mean it'll be hostile, but I think he'd thrive off it. And um, he, he's, it's one or two, though, isn't it? He, he can thrive. Yeah. Right? Or, or he that. can dive. Yeah. <laughs> right? Thrive or dive. <laughs> but no, he could. I just thought of that with us. But no, he can thrive on it, or he can just totally lose it. Because I've seen him do that in recent weeks with you guys. Totally lose it and can cost you, you know, if you're down to 10 men, you'll be, you know, so I don't know. Well, I mean, um, hopefully Costa makes it back because um, I'd love to see Gabriel get sent off again. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> no, you know who the ref is this weekend, right? It better not be Mike it's Dean. It's not Mike Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's, sure it's, who it is. It's bad for us. It's Clattenburg. Clattenburg. Listen, Clattenburg, well, even he's had his dodgy moment. I don't think Clattenburg's a bad referee, but... Mike Dean for us he is on that day Mike Dean he was totally he was honestly he was some of the worst referee I've, I've seen in a very long time and he kind of sported the game to be honest not for you guys but he sported it for us but yeah this game this weekend is massive I'm, if if Costa doesn't play up front for you who plays up front or you reckon you go with a false number nine and we only have Remy is he fit though is he he's fit just okay. about though okay, <laughs> so yeah. uh, you know I, I, I think he probably no, plays I, a false I, nine again I mean you've had these arguments before in the past right what I what I don't understand with Chelsea is why we don't see any of your youngsters coming through alright we've seen Loftus cheek but there must be a striker down there in those there ranks are. that could yeah. play you know you're going to get foul cow I, that's what I think it has been all the problems this season I, I just think that there's been a lot of mismanagement at your club um don't get me wrong, I love it. You know what I mean? Keep it up. He's not complaining. <laughs> I ain't complaining, <laughs> but he's, I just find it mind-boggling that, you know, I've got a mate who's got two sons who play at Chelsea. Yeah. And I find it mind-boggling because he's always telling me about all the talent they've got there in their youth team that you don't see any of them, you know? Whereas at Arsenal, guys get a chance. Guys like Hector Bellerin will get a chance. Kieran Gibbs, you know, these guys get a chance. And, and that's what I like about Arsenal. And I think that's something Chelsea... They need to address because they've got the talent there and, you know, it's, it's a real... I think you've got a lot of problems at your club at yeah. the moment and that's why, you know, standing outside there at Buckingham Palace, I think we're the kings of London again. <laughs> we're still the champions till May, right? <laughs> at least. But, um, all right, score prediction. Um, are you going with a solid Arsenal win or do you feel we're going to pose some sort of threat on the listen, day? I, I, no, listen, in, uh, you know take aside all the banter and all that it's a proper game and Chelsea have got quality yeah. you know they've got quality players um, it's not going to be as it's not going to be an easy game but I honestly think that if we turn up and we play with the right pace and intensity and, and if those players ain't up for this game what game they're going to be up for I'm going to go for Arsenal winning by three goals to one um, I, fa I, I fancy goals I think if Alexis Sanchez is back in the squad that's going to give us a massive massive boost um, and all the other players have been playing pretty well. We've been scoring. Giroud's been on fire. Walcott needs to come to the party. I, I, I see goals this week. Um, I'm going to go 3-1 to Arsenal. Well, he's going 3-1. I'm going to say if we do show up, I say this every week now. I don't know why. You know, if, if we do show up and we're solid, we can go there and nickel 1-0. That's what my heart's saying. If we're really weak at the back, as it's been, 
it's hard to believe we're going to leave with a win. That's just me being honest. Um, nothing more than a draw. And if we do collapse, then it's clear Arsenal, Arsenal can win quite easily if if they do pick us apart fingers crossed that's not the case though um, I love to hear you talking like this I mean normally you're bouncing I hate it <laughs> you're bouncing into this game Mourinho yeah you know I mean, you, you guys have had a, a little bit of sense of um, you know you're invincible against us but I think I think things are changing hopefully not <laughs> I mean <laughs> but um, there we are Feel free to check out Arsenal Fan TV, obviously, and be sure to check out the Bet Victor YouTube channel. You'll find that in the in the description. Please do check it out with the weekend of show, loads of banter, including yours truly over here. Um, and please check out all the other all the other videos on 100% Chelsea. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave all your comments and your predictions in the comment section below. Do you think they're going to find it easy? Do you think we're actually going to show up properly for once this season? Let me know in the comments, and we'll see all of you really, really soon. Charlie Austin coming back to the Premier League and mainly because they're playing Manchester United and I hope he's going to score uh, because they, beat, they beat bit yeah well it's revenge you know they beat us last weekend Charlie Austin come back in it's a lovely story isn't it it's a great narrative have you got over back last in. weekend no I'm never, I'm never over Manchester United right. defeats okay. and you know what makes it worse he told me that